Good morning. Dero's getting a little cocky on his trivia knowledge, Jason. <laughs> so I need this one to be a difficult one. What do we got on a Friday? All right, we're going to give you a little Mookie Betts okay. question, Lauren. Uh, Mookie Betts became the third former MVP to play for the Dodgers, but there are two other National League teams that have teammates who have won an MVP award. You just have to name those two teams. Ooh, they don't know. I can tell by their faces. They're sitting <laughs> over here. They don't know. If you okay. know, tweet us, hashtag MLB Central. We will tell you the answer in just a few minutes. Hey, by the way, Jason, before we get into these topics, who's the face of baseball right now? We've been debating all week. I mean, it should be Trout, but in reality, I think it's Aaron Judge. <laughs> what do I win? With all due respect. <laughs> hey, Jason, I was reading the Washington Post. The article was titled Extra Innings Experiment, Gimmicky, Untraditional, and Worth Keeping. You think so? You know, people think I should hate this rule. I love it. I do. Uh, I'll explain why, but why don't we take a look at what the rule itself reads like. It's pretty simple, right? Every extra inning starts with a runner on second base. And, you know, I think people expected you just see a lot of bunts. It hasn't turned out that way at all. Uh, all these extra inning games, we've only seen bunts in four of them. But you know what we see instead? We see fun. We see stuff that you almost never see. Let's take a look at a couple of those. Can we start with, uh, this is last week in Houston, Ed, okay, never mind. We're going to start with Kevin Kiermeyer of the Rays. This is a walk-off triple with his team trailing in extra innings. There had only been two of those in the last 20 years. So that was wild. And then this is my favorite of all. This is Edwin Rios of the Dodgers in Houston last week. You know what this is? This is a guy leading off an inning with a two-run homer. 307,000 home runs in baseball history. That's the only one of those because it was impossible until two weeks ago. So I like that part of it. But here's my favorite part, and that is the strategy, the thinking, the second guessing of the managers. Uh, there's so much of that that goes on, and that's our favorite part of baseball, isn't it? And even the managers who've managed with it enjoy that part. I talked to Morgan Ensberg, who's managed in double-A for the Rays the last couple of years with this rule in effect. He told me it's half-court baseball, and it's awesome. Interesting. I agree. I was one of those people that didn't think you would like it. Very surprising. Perhaps this season I'm isn't the last guy. we've seen of it. You're not that guy. Hats off to the Marlins, by the way. Off for eight days, a four-game sweep. Did you lock in on that series? What did you notice? <laughs> well, the Marlins are now the hottest team in baseball, and how crazy is that? because uh, this is a team that's made 36 roster moves this week, okay? That's four waiver claims, three free agent signings, um, a trade, a guy purchased from the Sugarland Skeeters, and 17 players changed who were added to their team since the last time they played a game. Never seen anything quite like that. Those 2014 Angels, that was September roster expansion. So before September, the only team within 10 players added of these Marlins was those 2014 Red Sox the day after the trading deadline. And the amazing thing about this is it's worked. Five-game winning streak swept the Orioles in four in Baltimore. We went back 140 years, the only team we could find that won that many games in a row with eight days off in between the 2001 Yankees who won six in a row around 9-11. Wow. wow. You were you were talking about hot teams, and I, I went right to Oakland because we had a conversation earlier, and we heard from Matt Olson about the offense. What's behind the numbers and the strong start? Well, they've got the weirdest specialty of the house that we've seen. The walk-off grand slam already hit two of them. It's amazing. Um, this is Stephen Piscotty on Tuesday night against Texas. But that was their second one of this season because on opening night, we saw this, Matt Olson walk-off slam in extra innings. So that's two walk-off grand slams in the first 11 games of the season. Here's how rare that is. No team had ever done that in the first 11 games of any season. We'd only had two teams in history hit two walk-off slams that close together and 
any point in the season. You know, the Rockies have never hit a walk-off slam. The Giants haven't hit one in 47 years. And the A's did it twice in a week and a half. But here's the most amazing thing of all. The two pitchers who gave up those walk-off slams, Jesse Chavez for Texas, who will be Milner for the Angels. It was the only pitch they threw in the entire game. So we went back through the entire pitch tracking era. That's This is the 33rd season. There hasn't been a single pitcher who gave up any kind of grand slam for his only pitch of the game in all those years, and then two guys did it against the same team in a week and a half. The research is incredible. The reason baseball leading the West, dealing with Granky. Uh, trivia question, d -Row. Any? Yeah, any I got, thought? I got you got one. him? You got one. I got one. All right, Jason, read it for yeah. us one Am more time. Am I allowed time. to answer? All right, the, the, the two teams beside the Dodgers in the National League who have teammates who once won an MVP award. Well, uh, the Brewers with Braun and Yelich, right? That is right. Now, the oh. other team... I don't have the The Brewers other. had both those guys do it for them. The other team had the two players do it before they ever got there. Oh, oh, shoot. Harper's won an MVP. Yeah. Kutch won an MVP. I was trying to think yeah, of that. That's right. Kutch. Kutch you won an got MVP. It. Kutch won an MVP. You that's got right. It. That I interviewed awesome. him after he won the, uh, oh, what did he win? The Jackie Robinson, Hank Aaron Award. One of those amazing. Right. Roberto Clemente Award is what he won. I should know that. He came on the set. But one out of MVP two. Not bad. Jason, right. nice visiting with you on a Friday. Appreciate your time, as always. Have a great weekend.